Hi, folks. This is Ada. Today I want to talk about face detection and how to use the deep face package for Python to implement some of the most popular models for this task. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. DeepFace is a Python library for face recognition, facial attribute analysis, and also face detection that provides a unified interface for several state-of-the-art models. Among the models that DeepFace wraps, we have OpenCV, SSD, MTCNN, Glib, Retina Face, and Media Pipe. Let's start by talking about OpenCV which is a well-known computer vision library that provides several functions for image processing and object detection. OpenCV can be used for face detection by using a pre-trained Harcascade classifier. In DeepFace, we can set detector backend argument to OpenCV to perform face detection using OpenCV. In the context of performance, OpenCV achieved an average accuracy of 84.5%. Moving on to the next model, SSD stands for Single Shot Multibox Detector, and it's a deep learning algorithm for object detection. SSD is based on a neural network that can detect multiple objects in an image with a single forward pass. In DeepFace, we can use the SSD as a detector backend to perform face detection using SSD. SSD achieved an average accuracy of 86.8% on the Pascal Visual Object Classes Challenge 2012. Next up is MTCNN, which stands for Multitask Cascaded Convolutional Networks. MTCNN is a deep learning model that can perform face detection and landmark detection simultaneously. MTCNN is composed of three stages, first, a proposal network generates candidate bounding boxes, second, a refinement network filters out false positives and refines the bounding boxes, and finally, a landmark regression network detects the facial landmarks and aligns the faces. In DeepFace, we can use the MTCNN as detector backend to perform face detection using MTCNN. MTCNN achieved an average accuracy of 84.8% on easy wider face data set. Moving on to Glib, which is a popular C++ library for machine learning that provides several tools for face recognition, face detection, and facial landmark detection. In DeepFace, we can set detector backend to Glib to perform face detection using GlibHOG. Glib achieved an average accuracy of 89% on four different data sets. Next up is Retina Face, which is a deep learning model that can perform face detection and landmark detection simultaneously. Retina Face is based on a single-stage anchor-based object detection network that uses a novel loss function and a feature fusion module to achieve high accuracy and efficiency. In DeepFace, we can use the Retina Face model to perform face detection. Retina Face achieved an average accuracy of 96.9% on Easy Wider Face dataset. Finally, we have Media Pipe, which is a cross platform framework for building multimodal applied machine learning pipelines. Media Pipe provides several pre built modules for face detection and landmark detection that can be combined to create custom pipelines. Media Pipe uses Blaze Face model in the background for face detection. In DeepFace, we can use the Media Pipe module to perform face detection. Media Pipe achieved an average precision of 98.6% on geographically diverse dataset. To summarize, DeepFace provides a convenient Python interface to several state of the art face detection models. These models vary in terms of performance and speed, with some models like Retina Face achieving higher score, but at the cost of increased processing time. On the other hand, models like OpenCV and SSD are faster but may sacrifice some accuracy. Ultimately, the choice of which model to use will depend on the specific needs of your application, as well as the trade-off between accuracy and processing speed. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.